to now to talk about this concerning uptick is infectious disease expert Dr. Amish Adolja from Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. Thanks you so much for joining us and being here today. Thanks for having me. First, uh, we haven't seen this pediatric hospitalizations this high since 2020. Uh, how concerning is this as we brace for an uptick in flu cases? It wasn't unexpected that we would see viruses that have traditionally infected children come back after people started to socially interact. What's happened though is that the pandemic has sort of changed the way RSV is behaving. We're seeing a, a peak or a rise higher than we would have anticipated in the pre-COVID era. And there may be some lowering of immunity in the population because during COVID-19, many of these children were not infected with RSV. And there's this hypothesis about an immunity gap. Mm -hmm. And I do think it's concerning because if all of these children are getting sick at once, Pediatric hospitals don't have the capacity to take care of them all. Remember, pediatric hospitals are rare. They don't have the same capacity as adult hospitals, so they have a lower threshold to get in trouble. Yeah, it really is a lot at once. Uh, what advice would you give to parents who are having a hard time uh, getting the basic appointment for medical care for their children, uh, even for those with less urgent illnesses? It, it's really, really a demanding time for doctors and patients. It's going to be difficult to get a pediatric appointment in the middle of this RSV surge that we're seeing. So what I would advise pa parents to do is be on the lookout for danger symptoms that a child might be having. Are they having unremitting fever? Are they wheezing? Are they unable to eat and drink? Are they hard to awaken? All of those are going to sort of give you a clue that your child needs to be seen sooner rather than later. If it's just cough, cold symptoms and the child is a healthy child, I think that can wait. But if, if any of those danger symptoms are present, you should go to the nearest emergency department as soon as possible. All right. A lot of moms and dads asking, is there a vaccine yet? Is there a vaccine yet? There's currently a vaccine for RSV in the works. But what can people do to protect themselves uh, and specifically their children in the meantime? RSV is a ubiquitous virus. Almost every human has gotten RSV multiple times, and most children got it before the age of three. Uh, we all probably, all of us included. The thing that's happened now is that RSV seems to cause more or more severe disease in children that maybe have ha not had that experience of RSV through their life. So what you really have to do is recognize that you're not going to be able to completely avoid this virus. Uh, what you can T tell your children to do is practice good high hand hygiene. And if your child is sick, keep them away from school, keep them away from other people until they've recovered. But this is not something that's really avoidable. Uh, RSV is a really prolific virus that's infected all of us, as I said. Yeah, good hygiene really goes a long way. Thank you so much for dropping by and giving us some, some new perspective and uh, calming the nerves of some parents out there. Thank you, doctor, so much. Thanks for having me.